Many women notice that over the course of their pregnancy, their baby seems to be either slightly smaller or slightly larger than where they should be for their current gestational age. And then they begin to wonder, does this affect my due date? And this is a valid question and always one that should be brought to the attention of your OB provider. And they can give you the best information depending on your circumstances. However, there are basic principles that will probably guide the answer that your OB provider is going to give you. Ultrasounds that are done in the um, early first trimester are very accurate, meaning a fetus grows at a very consistent rate during the first trimester and the beginning of the second trimester, and any ultrasounds done at this time can accurately date your pregnancy. Let's say that you are having irregular periods and you call your doctor telling them that you have a positive pregnancy test. One of the first things they're going to want to do is do an ultrasound because that can accurately date the pregnancy. If the fetus is um, measuring eight weeks at the time they do the ultrasound, then you're eight weeks along and that's what they'll base your due date off of. Um, if you had an early ultrasound in your pregnancy, you can, you can bet that your um, due date is pretty accurate. And then, you know, in the late second trimester, early third trimester, especially 28 weeks and beyond, any ultrasound that's done on your baby will not affect your due date. If a baby is either larger than they should be or smaller, then other issues need to be considered. If your baby's consistently measuring larger than usual, that's called large for gestational age. Or if a baby's measuring consistently smaller, it's called small for gestational age. And if they get past a certain point, it can even be called intrauterine growth restriction. And that means there might be issues with the placenta. And so it's not something to ignore, not just, you know, you don't want to just change the due date and assume that the baby's off. You need to pay attention to other pathological issues that might be causing the baby to be too small or too big. So again, I recommend talking with your doctor and they can give you the best information. But if you have other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.